Hello, my name is Jean-Christophe Carrette. I am Head of Technology for IMI Adronic Engineering. And today I will be showing you our solution for changeover systems with four pipe systems and how to configure it. Our changeover solution enables seamless switch between heating and cooling networks in four pipe systems. Thanks to the reduced number of valves and actuator it involves, it provides space saving, reduced commissioning time, and it decreases the risk of cross flow between heating and cooling networks. Yet, it provides enhanced controllability thanks to the advanced pressure independent balancing and control valve TA modulator and the digitally configurable actuator TA slider CO made especially for changeover. To be more precise, the specially adapted package for changeover systems from IMI Adronic Engineering is made of four parts, two valves and two actuators. At first, a six-way control valve that allows to perform the switch between the cooling and the heating network and vice versa. Then, as already mentioned, a pressure independent balancing and control valve called TA modulator. This valve provides enhanced controllability both on heating and cooling flows thanks to its integrated differential pressure controller. Then, as an actuator for the TA modulator, the digitally configurable TA slider 160 CO. This version, especially made for changeover systems, integrates an easy to use click and connect feature that allows straightforward connection to the motorization of the six-way valve. This actuator on the six-way valve here is integrally controlled by the TA slider 160 CO that is itself connected to the control system through only three wires. Now, for commissioning this changeover package, all what you have got to do is to plug in the TA dongle into the TA slider. The TA dongle provides you Bluetooth communication with the iTunes app on your smartphone. And this iTunes app can be used for modifying live the parameters of the TA slider. At first, you need to define the input signal to the actuator. You need to pick one of the dual ranges available. Here, as an example, the 2 4.7, 7.3, 10 volts range has been selected. As you can see on the screen, there are two parts in this range. A part in the lower values between 2 and 4.7 volts that is assigned to heating and allows then the modulator valve to be positioned proportionally to the needs in heating mode. Another part in the higher voltages between 7.3 and 10 volts that allow similarly to control the modulating valve uh, when we are in cooling mode. After this, you need to define what will be the flows respectively in heating and cooling. For this, first define on which valve the actuator is mounted. Here it has been done and we have defined that it is a TA modulator DN15. That allows you then to input simply in the app the values of the maximum flow in cooling and heating that will be need to be considered by the TA slider. The TA slider is then able to transform these maximum flows in maximum positions to be reached. When this is made, the only part left is to define the conditions of trigger of the relay, relay that is integrated in the TA slider and that controls the switch of the six-way valve between the cooling and the heating network. Another part that is very interesting in this procedure of commissioning is that the iTunes app enables you to generate a PDF report of all the configuration parameters that you have set so that you can keep that in a record for your plant. All what I have shown you so far was based on an analog control system with a 0-10 volt input signal. 
There are variants of the changeover package also available with integrated Modbus RTU and BACnet MSTP communication. The configuration is as straightforward as just demonstrated. These BACnet and Modbus connected actuators are wired according to a daisy chain principle, by which a cable arrives and another one leaves each actuator to constitute the daisy chain. A particularity is the possibility to connect a third cable to each actuator of the daisy chain. Thanks to this additional cable, you will have a number of additional features. The first one is the possibility to provide power boosting to the daisy chain to make it longer. The second allows what we call hybrid control, by which a 0 10 volt analog signal line can be used to control the position of the actuator instead of the bus line. A third is the binary input. The binary input can be configured in such a way that certain actions will be taken by the actuator according to the status of the binary input. And finally, last but not least, these two cables allow to connect up to two PT1000 temperature sensors, of which the temperature measurements are reported then on the bus line. One additional key feature that is not visible here is the fact that each of the BACnet and Modbus connected actuator have a flow reporting function, whereby the flow is directly visible on the bus line when the actuator is connected on a pressure independent balancing and control valve, just as TA modulator or TA compact. We have also a variant for KNX communication with some specifics in the connectivity of the actuator of the six way valve. This is it. This is how simple yet smart is our package for changeover systems and how easy it is to commission it. And then, because it uses the pressure independent balancing and control valve TA modulator and the actuator TA slider, it will deliver you enhanced controllability for heating and cooling flows, regardless of how different could be your heating and cooling networks. To know more, visit our website or talk to one of our sales representatives.